have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Seven of Pentacles, and it's with the Emperor. So straight off the bat, this is telling me that with the Seven of Pentacles here, the card that's above the word pass, it's telling me that you were in a connection or you were involved with someone whereas you really wanted this to work you wanted the connection to grow you see she's watering a plant she she's had this plant ever since it was a little teeny tiny baby and she could hold it in the palm of her hands and now it's like 10 feet tall and the leaves are rich, healthy, and well-nourished, and it's growing. So, this could be how you feel or felt about your person. You wanted it to work. You wanted the connection to make it. For some of you, you wanted to reap the rewards of the energy and effort and time that you had put into to this connection. But with the Emperor here... The card that's below the word pass. The emperor is a type of energy that is can be cold. It doesn't open their heart. So for some of you, Sagittarius, you could have felt like you wanted this to work. You wanted the connection to make it. But for some of you, you didn't really want to express your emotions to your person. Yeah, the Emperor doesn't want to come across as being vulnerable. Just doesn't open their heart or doesn't show their person that they have emotions for them, for the connection. And I'm getting this is how some of you Sagittarius were feeling. Yeah, you wanted the connection to grow. You wanted it to, to work. But you didn't want your person to, to know. Yeah. You did not want to express how much you cared. You didn't want to do it. You didn't want them to know for some reason. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Ten of Swords. And it's with the Page of Swords. Now... This Ten of Swords can be about trust issues. It can be about um, not, it can be about um, feeling that a situation or the connection is not stable. You don't trust that it's stable. For some of you, you could have been stabbed in your back by this person. This person that you're dealing with is, is, is like the Page of Swords, the card that's below the word present. Um, the Page of Swords can be the type that will bring conflict. They'll be overly dramatic. Yeah. Can be, can come across as being childish. And for some of you, you're dealing with a child. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student youth, immaturity, or someone who's who's younger than you. Yeah, this person will stalk you. They'll do a lot of watching you. There's a level of immaturity when you get the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords will bring conflict, just for no reason at all. And this makes you feel like you can't trust that the connection is going to be stable. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the hanged man, and it's with this queen of swords. Now, also, Sagittarius, because you're dealing with, for some of you, you're dealing with this page of swords. 
Um, you could be, this person could be a um, page of source, could, could be a cancer. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Now, the challenge, the hangman and the queen of swords. So, with the hangman here, it, it's showing that um, the connection could be on pause. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. It could be on pause. And it's with this queen of swords. Now, the queen of swords is a very strict and stern type of energy. Um, she has her defenses up. Serious about a decision or serious about whatever she's trying to do. Yeah, so your person can be realizing that the connection is on pause for whatever reason. Um, could be because you, you're no longer trusting the connection is stable. Or maybe you're not trusting this person. And they see that you've put the connection on pause. And your person could, could be fed up. Maybe you've been doing this lately because of some trust issues. And your person is fed up about this with this Queen of Swords here. Um, yeah, don't be surprised if your person s starts to say things. Don't be surprised if they start to say how they're really feeling about things. Yeah, the Queen of Swords says what she really thinks and can be very forceful. Yeah, your person is fed up. I'm kidding that for some of you, Sagittarius, you've been like the same man, maybe for a while or just on and off, you put the connection on pause. So your person it could be about to put their foot down about this. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the King of Wands ends with the Five of Cups. So even though your person has a, um, a level of immaturity about them, they do things you really don't appreciate. But just know the King of Wands is here. That's a very caring and protective type of energy. Your person may care about you. And whether you know it or not, they do want to protect the connection. Yeah. Now, the Five of Cups is showing that they're disappointed. Or, this could be you, this Five of Cups, the card below the word outcome. You could be disappointed. You could still be uh, crying over spilled milk. Not a and not able to focus on the positive, and you're and you and you're focusing on the negative. Yeah, five of cups disappointed, but your person they do care. Like I said, and I'm getting that a lot of you don't even feel this way because you got all those swords stabbed in your back. Yeah. And you, you keep putting the connection on pause. And I'm sure it's for a good reason. Because you're dealing with the Page of Swords. So that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with every, everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.